guys, it's Laura and Matilda from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And today is Monday afternoon and it's cold. <laughs> um, although I think it's going to be colder tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Uh, so I don't know. It's, it's going to be a cold one, though. Um, but today is, uh, I'm filming early because I got it done early and I'm going to show you my Christmas tree for the, um, for, uh, Wednesday wipeout. Yeah. I don't want to scare her like I did last time while I, when I screamed out wipeout. So yeah, she's still skittish and, uh, especially around, um, around other people. She doesn't like other people at all. But anyway, her loves her mama. So, um, what? Thank you. Alrighty. So, I do have my dishcloth that she's done for, for now. So, that's good. Um, I have my washcloth done. We did the, I think I can get away with this. We did the Christmas tree. Which is hmm, right here. Whoops, sorry about that. Here's the Christmas tree that we did. <laughs> that is Matilda. And uh, so, yes, there is the Christmas tree. It's kind of cute, eh? All righty. Well, the noise you hear is one of their toys. Um, it used to be on the door, and they used to pull themselves up and, you know, kill each other, or kill it, and they have finally killed it, and it is down here, but they still play with it, so... I guess we're just going to keep it that way. So, anyway, um, Christmas tree done. Um, we have six more to go, and I think it lands right on Christmas Day. It was supposed to have been a week earlier. I don't know. My math just messed it, it did it up. So, anyway, um, where did... Here we go. So, I will show you what yarn I used. I used Peaches and Cream Original. It's 100% cotton, uh, medium four weight. The color is forest green, or forest green, um, however you want to say it. Uh, two and a half ounces, 120 yards. It's people... To really dark people. <laughs> so, yes, I used people yarn. She's sitting on my foot. Um, I used some of the white yarn. This is what I have left from that bigger ball that I've been playing with. Um, I think this is just going to have to go to the scrap rug now. I used um, some yellow. I might still be able to make something with this. We'll have to see. And um, I used some scrubby that I got from Lynette from Charmed Grammy. So, there we go. That is what I have used. And this is what my tree looks like. There. The little star I made came from, I'll link it below, uh, came from Hooked by Robin. You're making me dizzy, silly girl. So yes, here's my tree. And I just wove the, I was thinking you could be the ins, you could use, you know, do it either way. But since I put the star on it, I guess it's really kind of, you can only use it one way, but. Or if you want to hang it up, it'll only go one way. But there we go. That's what I did. 
So, now the first thing I'm going to say is don't forget to stay for the slideshow. We have six more um, and I'm sorry, this did require sewing, but it hasn't been as bad as some of the sewing that we did. But I didn't know that until I went to go um, make it. But Lynn actually told me, there's sewing involved. It's, no! Anyway, yes, there was sewing. Sorry about that. I think the only other one that requires sewing is the Santa Claus one. And I'm really hoping that we don't have um, that one um, to do because, oh, you guys will know this already because um, uh, Crystal came out with a turkey hat. So I'm not even going to draw a number. I'm just going to pick the turkey hat so I can wear it for at least a week. Um, excuse me. Uh for this Thanksgiving, and then I'll put it away until next year. But that's this one done. Um, don't forget to stay for the slideshow. Um, so let's see which ones we have left. And I think the first one that I'm going to come to is the one I don't want to have done because I it's going to require some sewing. So the... Uh, the next one we have is Santa, or, you know, we could have. We still have um, White Snowflake to do. That one would be an easy one. But you know I'm going to end up drawing Santa Claus, right? Uh-huh. Then we have um, uh, the Poinsettia in a square. Now, that would be easy one to do. Uh, we have the Holiday Hexagon. That would be an easy one. When we have the Scrubby and the Christmas Lace. So, what do you want? You're making me hit your toy. <laughs> so, um, I don't think any of them, except for maybe the Scrubby. And um, I'm going to, I'm not going to actually go buy a scrubby. I'm going to make a scrubby um, with some scrubby yarn and then um, go from there. So, uh, there we go. Watch out, baby girl. Um, are we ready to find out that uh, hopefully I'm not going to pick the Santa because I don't want to do any sewing but if we do, we do. I have a one in six chance <laughs> of getting the snowman. So there is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six of them in there. So sleeve is up. Okay, so let me get them all up. Matilda, you going to tell me when to pick? No? Okay. Here we go. Somebody's going to have to holler. And if we're going to get this, get the Santa Claus, I'm picking a new one. No, I'm not. I would be nice, though. But I'm not. Are you going to tell me? No? Okay. So, I'm gonna, just going to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Look, I got them all in there. I'm going to pick this one right there. Okay, I'm afraid to look. Oh, thank goodness it is not. It is not the Santa Claus. It is the Holiday Hexagon. So that one, you know, aside from sewing in ends, this one should be a very easy one to do. So, Holiday Hexagon, page 73. Oh, thank goodness me. Now, if we want them to get done before Christmas, we can always do two. 
Um, so that way we can be assured because somehow my math got mixed up. So if you guys want to do two, um, two to get them done before Christmas, let me know. Or if you want to just have them, you know, done on Christmas Day, um, you know, that's fine too. So, uh, let me know what you guys want to do. So, uh, let me show the Christmas, I can't remember, I think it was Holiday Hexagon, right? Page 73. Holiday Hexagon, page 73. Okay, so this is the one. We are doing right here. So there we go. I know you guys got this in the bag. Just have to sew ends in. There we go. So um, I'm headed out. Um, I have some errands to run. And when I get back, I have to film the Bod Hat of Palooza. And uh, then I think I'm not going anywhere for the next couple of days. Yeah really like that's ever going to happen. So, um, thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to stay for the slideshow and I'll see you next time. Bye.